Did you know that you can use Excel to get data such as the stock information about companies and geographical information? If you have Excel for Microsoft 365 or even if you use Excel for the web, then you now have access to two linked data types for stock price and geographic information such as this. The reason that these two data types are called linked data types is that they have a connection to an online data source. This also means that you can refresh the data periodically to get really updated information. The way to extract these data types is to type some text in the cells such as the name of countries whose stock or geographical information you want. Now you can select those cells, go to the insert menu and click on table. No need to click my table has headers. You can rename the headers if you want. And you can see that Excel has already shown you an option to convert the data types to geography. If not, just select the cells, click on data and you can click on geography if you require geographical information for countries. Otherwise, you can click on stocks. You see that this icon appears next to the countries implying that Excel has converted this text to the geography data type. Clicking the extract card icon gives you access to a bunch of information that you can add in a new column. For example, let's add population and gas price information. See that at the click of a button, you now have access to a variety of information about countries or companies. Want to get updated data for these data types, then you would need to right click the cell with the linked data type and select the option data type refresh. This will refresh the cell that you selected and also refresh any other cells in the current table that also have the same data type. After you convert the text into the stocks or geography data types, you can click the extract icon and choose whichever information you want to add as a separate column. For instance, we are going to add the capital information for these countries. You can also add other information that you require. The advantage of extracting these data types is that each extracted information can also be a separate data type. For instance, here I'm going to extract information about the description for the capital of country. You can also write formulas that use the values from the stock or geography data types. This can be helpful if your data is not in a table form. For instance, I'm using the dot notation to extract the currency code for these five countries. You can also extract other information. For instance, let's extract information about the major city. And you can also use the dot notation to extract information about the extracted data types. The reason this did not work is that there is no description available for the capitals of the other four countries. So we can go back and edit our formula accordingly. So let's use the dot notation to get the capitals of these data types. And because the description field is not available, you'll need to choose a field that's available for the extracted data type. So this is how you can use the latest version of Excel 
to extract information about stocks of companies or the geographical information about countries at the click of a button. You can also use the dot notation to write formulas to extract information about countries or companies and use the dot notation on the extracted information to extract further information about those entities. I hope you found this video useful. If so, give it a like or let me know in the comments below. Goodbye and have a nice day.